you do not exist only lord exists bhagwan exists that's all the message you don't try to exist two things cannot exist in one world <laughs> hence you drop the mind that is his message to drop the mind chant mantra sing simply chanting with the verbatim is not enough sing because prose belongs to the mind poetry belongs to the heart that's why he recommended singing some people are chanting mantra very seriously you see it don't help much <laughs> we need to sing the mantra singing is important the moment you sing you are already unloaded how to prevent the loading reloading this is where exactly yoga answers yoga is the answer When I say yoga, do not misunderstand me about the physical yoga. I use the word yoga in a very wide spectrum. How to be in union with the consciousness? That's what yoga is all about. For example now we are speaking and listening we need to find is there any way now here to be in union with this discussion without interference of any interpretations then it becomes yoga the very listening becomes yoga same way when you walk are we in tune with the flow are we in union with the flow are we in flow with the flow when he when he says i am the tree i am the star i am the ocean i am all the meaning is be in flow with that because i am that we think it is a tree what flow is going to happen with a tree tree is a tree lower than me see upper lower consciousness level how can you say it is low it's a dwelling place of the divinity dwells everywhere we need to be in union with every act this is what song is all about prose means text means some separation song means no separation the subject and the object dissolves 